everyone. Um, so I'm making another part of AT&T microwave towers. So I found this um, AT&T microwave tower near downtown Dallas, Texas. This looks almost like an MCI microwave tower. Well, MCI used microwave towers too, but they were after the long lines and microwave were done for. So I just found this tower. It's like beside an AT&T building in Dallas. Got the base of it. But um, I hear a lot of people talking about this tower because on I see a lot of long lines tower videos or microwave tower videos. And there's always people commenting saying, like, there's a tall one near downtown Dallas. And then I just decided to find where it was at. But this one is like one that a lot of people talk about and see and it looks familiar to everyone. It just, to me, it seemed like a well-known site because lots of people live in Dallas and they go through this tower. And they got a newer type of microwave at the very top of it right there. Here is another AT&T microwave tower that I thought looked pretty cool as well. This one's got like a monopole cell phone tower built beside with two microwave dishes on it. That's a newer kind of microwave. And then there's the old style microwave for TVs and stuff. <clears throat> um, it looks like the top deck on the tower for the top horns were added on several years after. The bottom cone antennas were the original antennas, and then the tower was remodeled in like the 60s and stuff when they got more cone antennas. But this one just one of my most favorite sites. I just like it because it looks pretty cool and they just look unique because they're meant to withstand a nuclear bomb attack back in like the 60s and late 40s and everything. So here's another AT&T microwave tower in Catawba, Ohio. This one's very tall. It's got it's about 456 feet high. And uh, they made them out of cement back in the late 40s because steel was in short supply. This one's 104 feet high. And then when steel beaker were replenished after the wars, they added on that very tall tower. Because this tower wasn't tall enough to communicate between two major cities. So this really helped improve the communication. Now I think this might be the tallest they built. I'm not quite sure. Because I know most of their towers go up to 300 feet. But this one's like at 456 feet. So this one is pretty big and very tall, and you can see this one for a couple of miles, about 15 miles away, I would say. And that's probably about as far as I can see it. So here's the last microwave tower I'll be filming for these videos. This tower has like the Gabriel style antennas, which you can't really see the cone antennas. But on Google Maps, you can see the cone antennas, like the directions they're facing to, to the two other towers. This is not a, this tower's not very tall. It's like, um, I think AT&T must have gave this tower to MCI. Because it looks like MCI must have been using it for a while. There's the base of it on Google Maps and where it's at. You can see the light on the top of it. The new LED that I put up. Yeah. And this site looks like it was like rearranged or something because... MCI or a different company must be renting space on the tower now.